Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have another video for you all. And this time, we'll be building an e-bike. So we have all the things laid down for you. So these are the things that are required to build an e-cycle. So I'll be building it on my old cycle. Uh, you're you're going to convert it to electric so that you can drive around in the town. The things you need is the BLDC motor, the battery pack and the controller. And apart from that, you have the small, small accessories that we'll be covering it today. So this one is just going to be part one video. Uh, the next one would be insulation, wire connection and the battery pack. And the third one would be review and the range test. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to it so that you will be notified when the next video comes in. And do give this video a thumbs up if you haven't. So now, let's see what all you get. So first thing is that you need this BLDC motor. This is a hub motor. So this gets connected to the uh, cycles rear view. This is 36 volt, 350 watts motor. So this is rated for IP65, which means that you can also use this during rains. You have all the connections that comes out. Uh, I lost actually the uh, holder for that, but I'll make some modifications. So the wire directly goes inside the hub motor. So that's the main thing. Now, to connect all these to the rim, you, you need to get spokes. So you also get uh, these supplied with the kit. You get 36 spokes and you also have proper bolts for that as well. I, with which you could mount it on the rim. So let's keep that aside. The next that you get is the throttle body. So this is an accelerator. You just have to twist it like a normal bike. You have indicator that tells how, what's the range of the battery is. And then you have the key to turn it on, turn it off like an ignition switch. It's a gimmick, but yeah, that works and you have the connectors that go to the controller and you also get the left side as well. So then you have the brake levers. So the brake wire goes to the lever and those two things goes to the controller so that the controller knows that you're applying for brake. The next that you have is the pedal assist system. So this goes to the frame and the other side the left side goes to the pedal so that whenever you pedal it spins so that's going to be stationary and when this spins right the small magnets that are placed induces a magnetic field and that induces a small current on the uh, stator so that gets sensed by the controller and it gives you an additional push so as you pedal the motor spins gives you an additional push you don't have to throttle so you don't have to throttle you just pedal it and you could move around and it'll give you an additional push so that's there let's keep that aside so now to control all this we need a controller so we have a 350 watt controller so you have all the wires don't worry guys the wires are too many but we'll cover in the next video on how easily you could connect the wires. I would explain each wire that are used. So don't worry about it. So next that you get is the controller box. So this is uh, goes to the uh, cycle frame. You could mount it on the side. And you have the proper screws as well and the clamps. Uh, but one thing guys, I bought the controller box of a 250 watt motor. Uh, however, the controller that I'm using is a 350 watt. It's a little bigger, just a slide bigger. So it doesn't fit properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand down the controller box on the sides and then I'll fix it in. It'll, it should go without a problem. So that's what we're going to do in this controller. And then you have the switch, the horn and the headlight switch. And then you get small accessories. You actually have to buy this separately. This is a rear light uh, LED. Uh, works on micro USB. You just have to charge it. To mount it, you get few rubber bands. 
that goes to the frame and to turn it on you have a small button on the top you just have to hold it and you have to keep pressing to change the modes this is just to warn other people that the cycle is going because cycles don't normally have lights right so this is just an additional safety feature you have a couple of modes let's keep that aside let's move to the next one this is an odometer so you get two points on the top and you have to just slide it in fix without a problem and you get zip ties to mount it you have a small sensor at the end that goes to the mudguard or to the frame of the cycle now how it works is that uh, let's turn it on you have the small magnet that goes to the uh, spoke you just have to tight it so after tightening it you have a small magnet so when the wheel spins uh, the magnet passes the sensor so every time it passes it measures the time taken to uh, from one sense to another sense and it detects the uh, kilometer so if you see the kilometers are going up it's just a gimmick but it's just an additional feature to look fancy so let's keep that aside so now to power all these you have to build battery packs you have lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate batteries so you can use these sort of battery packs if you need these sort of battery packs you could visit the website and you could put a request there but i'll be using this halong case uh, i'll be using lithium ion cells in it so what it actually is is a built-in case that goes to the cycle frame uh, you could mount it and unmount it whenever you want so you have everything in it like the screws the nuts uh, the LED indications and all that you also get holders so this is like a proper fancy case so like I said you get everything into it buttons you also get a lock there I'll, I'll show that to you later but you have to mount all the cells here fix it and then spot weld it so once you spot weld everything you just have to place that in and then screw all the case together so once done the bottom part slides off easily so this one actually gets connected to the frame of the cycle you either uh, can use screws and then you have small connectors at the end that gets connected to the battery as well as to the case so once you screw everything in you just have to place it and slide it down the bottom part fell down because you need to screw it in so basically that goes on the top and then you have to slide it in the front and then pull it out so let me show that again slide it on the front and then pull it out so it becomes a portable neat looking cycle kit you don't need to build any case or you don't need to build any uh, extra uh, support for it so you could get this one So these are the things that you need to build an e-cycle guys. So we have lots of things to cover, to install as well. So the next video will be on building a battery pack and installing it. So in part 3 we will do a review of it, the range test and all that. If you need this, I will leave a link in the description below or you could go visit my website to buy it from there. So this is just a quick overview to show what are the things that you get. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to it guys. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Good day now.